All right, guys, I've flown many turboprops throughout my life. Well, today I'm going to be flying the jet for the first time. I'm going to be flying with Greg, aka Premier One Driver, and right in the back is going to be Baron Pilot. Here we go. On to our dive look. Zero Golf Mike over at Fountain Blue with Juliet Ray Taxi. Over at 390 Golf Mike, off the ground, runway 30, taxi to Tango 8. Tango 8 to runway 30, November 390 Golf Mike. Okay, so I'm going to let you taxi out. Okay. The brakes are going to be pretty strong compared to what you're probably used to. Probably won't require much thrust. The engine control is all is going to manage the engine. You can and push and pull all you want, and it will take right. care of that. Sounds Parking good. brakes coming off. And I'll let you taxi. My controls? Your controls. Yeah, with the, uh, and I'll finish up the checklist. Northern Road 9 or 7 X-ray, clear to the Miami International Airport via radar vectors. I'll tell you right now, Greg, this is really cool hearing those jet engines compared to what I'm used to. Nice. Marshaller? All right, Tango 8, which is right in front of us. And we'll be taking off at 3-0. I'd like to welcome everybody on board. Today we have uh, Greg is uh, nice enough to let me fly his jet today, Premier One. Thank you, Greg, for having yeah, us on you're board. You're welcome. Thanks for coming on. We're going to be doing a VFR flight down the Florida Keys from Miami into Key West. Okay, so we are ready for takeoff. I'll get the rest of the uh, switches. So here, let's just talk about this for a second. Okay. If at any time I see something I don't like, I'm going to take control of the airplane. I'm going to say I have the aircraft. Air controls. All right, and I'm going to run with it from there. I'm not going to worry about. The videos and talking, we're going to we're going to handle the problem. You'll see when you get out to the runway, we can hold the brakes hard. There's one detent here at normal takeoff, and that's your max continuous thrust. So we'll run it up to that point, drop it into that detent. I'll check that everything looks good. I'll tell you everything looks good. You can release the brakes and advance the power all the way. Okay. Okay. You don't need to worry. the The computer takes care of all the stuff up there. So our speeds today, 108, 112, 125, 108 knots. Anything that I don't like that I see that happens below 108 knots, we're going to stop. I'm going to bring the throttles to idle. I'm going to deploy the lift dump, and I'm going to hit the brakes hard. After 108 knots, we're going to continue. Rotation speed's 112 knots. You'll find that it's pretty heavy. Not okay, so you're probably, that. yeah, exactly. So once we get up climbing away, positive rate, I'll get the gear up. Everything's over here on my side. We have flaps 10. We have one slot of flaps to go to up. Keeping in mind our airspace. Are we below a class B here, so we're 200 knots? Yes. Okay, so 200 knots is going to come pretty quickly. Okay. So 
uh, do not be afraid to pull the power back significantly. We'll ask for VFR East and then south along the shoreline. Okay, so I, I'll take over the radios from here okay. and kind of handle that. Sounds good. Opal Lock Tower, Premier 390 Golf Mike, holding short of uh, 30. We're ready, VFR to the east uh, and then down the uh, coast to the south. Premier 390 Golf Mike, Opal Lock Tower. Make a left turn, fly eastbound, runway 30, clear for takeoff. Okay, Roger that. We are uh, 390 Golf Mike is clear for takeoff, runway 30. It's a left turn to the east. Okay, you got it. All right, my controls. Your controls. Clear for takeoff, runway 30. We're going to do a left turn and then VFR to the east. We'll go to 1,000 feet six, five, six, four, five, to remain right. clear of uh, Class Bravo. So it will come quickly, so I will probably remind you to clear to the right and the left. Clear the left. And you can stand on the brakes pretty hard when you get out here to do the, uh, the run up. Okay. Opaloca Tower, good morning, Caravan 7010, Sierra Echo, and sequence run with 30. Caravan 7010 Echo, Opaloca Tower, say request a direction of flight. Uh, we're going to be heading east, by following to Miami. All right, we're all lined up. Yep. I'm on the brakes, we're going to run up to normal takeoff. Yep, that first detent, you'll feel it drop in. Yep, right in there. Right there. Uh, Caravan okay. 7010 Echo, off right we go. All right, off the brakes, here we go. Bye, Sierra Echo. Airspeed's alive. Hold the center line. 80 knots. B1, rotate. Wow, this thing gets up and Oh, yeah. Goes. Gear's coming up. <laughs> you don't have to tap the brakes? Nope. And remember, 65645 Miami. Flaps coming up. Make a right so go ahead and bring back to the uh, first Miami detent, approach. the only detent. Right in there. And I will get the cleanup up items. Start our left turn to the east, right, clear, clear to the left. Well, clear to the left. Contact my approach, Super 5. This thing is quiet. Yeah. Zero Golf, Mike Squat, VFR. Zero Golf, Mike. Okay, so now, there we are, 1,000 feet Don't eastbound. Don't sink. All right, we'll just keep a good eye out for traffic because there is a lot of traffic around this area. I can't get over how quiet this. I mean, I'm so used to turbo props where I got oh, yeah. the engine up here with me. Oh yeah, it spoils you big time. And you get up to altitude and it is just whisper quiet. All right, coming up on the beach here. We're going to be turning southbound. Probably a little heavier on the controls than what you're used to. Yeah, it is a little bit. Yep. All right, we are clear to the right. And we'll start our turn southbound. Good look at the beach down there. Center rink 116, turn left on golf, contact ground. Good day. Left on golf, over to ground, good day, center rink 116. What we're going to do is we're going to level, be a level here at 1,000 feet southbound. Boy, what a beautiful day. It is. We'll actually go, go a little bit to the right here. This is South Beach right up here in front of us at our 1 o'clock. Very popular beach down here in South Florida. How beautiful the water is. So you're down here for business, correct? <laughs> you call this business. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> you live a good lifestyle, I'll tell you that much. Good view of the... Uh, Port of Miami there. Yeah, so, you know, down here, down low, you don't really fly jets at this altitude very often. So, you know, below Class B, we're limited to 200 knots, 250 knots below 10,000 feet, so you really can't take advantage of the speed of the airplane until you get up high. Plus, you need the efficiency once you get up high. So, as a comparison, right now, we're cruising along here at 170 knots indicated, burning 400 pounds aside. Up at altitude, we'll be cruising along at 450 knots, burning 440 pounds a side. So, significantly faster on a very comparable fuel burn. Yeah, you know, the air is just so thick down here. Just don't it, get good performance compared yeah. to going up higher. I don't think this airplane's ever been hand flown for so long. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> it's really, I mean, this is awesome. First time ever flying a jet. I really do appreciate you bringing me yeah, up. Yeah, not a problem. 
Oh, you're doing great. You could get used to this real quick, I could tell. I have a feeling if my boss is watching, uh, you might want to take some notes. I wouldn't mind upgrading. Well, for some of the, sh the you know, the, the short flights you guys do, you know, it doesn't, you don't get to realize a lot of the advantage, but you start stretching out, you know, here to Atlanta or Dallas or whatever. I mean, it makes a big difference. Hey, we're clear to class Bravo now, so we can speed it up to Motor on up. 250. This has never really been an issue for me. So the N1 is that the, is the fan on the front of the engine. Okay. The N2 speed here is the internal core. You see that they're at different percentages. They they turn at different rates. They're not connected to one another. All right. So just like on the big airliners, they have those huge fan engines out in front of them, the big fans. Yeah. This is the same kind of thing. A little bit different than a uh, turboprop. Roger, we're looking, no joy. Yeah, not a lot of white, right rudder required. I know, that's the one thing I just realized. Yeah. I was like, you don't have to worry about that when you're taking off. You just kind of point it and it goes. So this is going to be our route today, guys. Uh, we're basically VFR. I mean, yeah, we're going to remain Please VFR. Your, uh, we're going to go down the chain of keys. If we we're going to be IFR, this would have been our route going to Manatee transition down the Jenka and then to Keep West. Uh, we're basically going to follow the same type of line, but we're just going to remain visual on visual flight rules. Okay, so in Key West, winds uh, out of the east at 5 knots, 10 miles clear, 19 degrees Celsius. Beautiful day, so let's expect runway niner. So the restaurant we're going to eat at is Lucy's, another premier owner, very good friend of mine, uh, happens to own the restaurant, along with several others. He's out of New Orleans and Telluride. Oh, wow. But uh, they're just opening up a Lucy's in Costa Rica. But... Uh, He's got us all hooked up for lunch, so. Well, that'll be nice. Staff is, staff is waiting our arrival. So, Steve, this is showing us that it's 83 miles to Key West, 21 minutes away. We're going to land with 1,600 pounds of fuel, and our gross weight at landing will be 10.7. Okay. I can then use that information to go into either my, in my checklist on the screen there, or I can go into my checklist here, and I can look at 20 degrees. 10.7, which I could round up to 11. I'm going to need 3,100 feet of runway, and my V ref speed's 114 knots. All right. So I can go ahead and set my ref up now. You know, when you're flying along here in cruise, it's easy to get complacent and start thinking about other things, but you really should be thinking about what's going to happen next. And what's going to happen next is the arrival and the landing. So let's go ahead and get ourselves prepared for the landing. Okay, I think that's one thing about single pilot jet and i know that you know it from single pilot flying your tbm is that you're always thinking ahead stay ahead of the airplane and ahead of the flight absolutely a little backstory on you greg you used to fly for the united states air national guard correct i flew for the air national guard i flew f-16s for 10 years the real thrill that had to be amazing oh yeah yeah great aircraft really smooth you know that aircraft is extremely easy to fly is it really yeah it's very fast, very powerful. Somebody else is paying for the fuel, which is great. <laughs> and the maintenance, extremely easy to fly, but very difficult to utilize as a weapon. So, you know, I always laugh when people go, oh, where did you go today? And it's like, I flew a fighter. The goal is to land at the same place you took off from, right? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, as unspectacular as that sounds. But to go out and shoot Maverick missiles or do the AMRAMs or go to the to the bombing range and bomb it's uh it's a very challenging thing and it was very satisfying but it's a very individual experience it's a single seat fighter you know it's hard for people who have an experience in aircraft that can climb you know vertically it's hard to explain that and, and have it translate into a meaningful way and yeah, when you take off you get like a block altitude for you get a block uh, altitude unrestricted climb. Un unrestricted climb you do um you know, you're basically unrestricted on airspeeds, for the most part, just subsonic. Um, How many so hours do you guesstimate you had in the F-16? I had 1,000 hours 1, in the F-16, yeah. Well, that's interesting. Thanks for serving our country. It's yeah, that oh, was a great honor. So with the V-REF speed of 114, what you'll find with this aircraft is that if you, if you come across at 120, you are really going to leave a lot of runway behind you. Okay. So you want to be at 114. So you really want to be at 114. 
you start to come over the uh, the apron, you're going to start to ease your, your throttles back and continue your descent on down. You'll want to arrest your descent, but I wouldn't be too exuberant in the flare. Okay. So I stop know. the descent uh, and just kind of let it I set know. down. Let it set down. Uh, it's yeah. really hard to kind of grease it on. You can hold it off, hold it off, hold it off, and set it down relatively softly, but it will float an awfully long way. Oh, really? And we've got 4,800 feet here at Key West, which is plenty of runway, but we don't want to leave 3,000 feet of it behind us. That's, yeah, I agree. Now, this is a solid straight gear. It's just a, a solid straight. It's not a trailing Oh, it's not trailing link. Yeah. Okay. So, like the Phenom 300, if you watch some of there's some guys that have some Phenom 300 videos. Uh, when you see them land, it's like you can hardly tell they land or like it a really golf stream. Helps out. Oh yeah, my gosh, so it really, this is much stiffer legged. That's how the TBM is too. It's very uh, stiff. I mean, it's, yeah. it's hard to grease those things on. One of my favorite campgrounds is coming up here on the right. It's Long Key State Park. I like uh, either taking the motorcycle down and tent camping in the nice weather, or I got a little RV I like to bring it down once in a while. That's got to be a great motorcycle ride down through here. Oh yeah, I love it. I'm so afraid of that Miami traffic. I think I'd have to trailer it <laughs> yeah. to Homestead or something and then jump off there. Driving motorcycles or dr literally driving anything in Miami is uh, not not a pleasant experience. <laughs> How was it back there? Very nice. We got Baron Pilot in the back. He's got a YouTube channel. Premier One Driver also has a YouTube channel. I'll be, I'll be sure to link everybody's uh, YouTubes in the description below. Premier One Driver here, Greg. He does a lot of full-length videos in the Premier One here. Yep. I just don't want to compete with you. Uh, we're not competing. We all just share the same passion, and to me, it's all good. Well said. I wish more people would share their aviation content. But you know how much work it is, right? <laughs> I mean, it's difficult. It is. A lot more work than people who think. Guys, it's just amazing to look at how exposed these islands are. I know. Can you imagine a Cat 4, Cat oh 5 hurricane coming right at this? Oh, my goodness. Could have ran, ran it right over. Tick that. Oh, okay, thank you. So we have been airborne 27 minutes, burned 540 pounds of fuel, and we've covered 96 miles. And we're, ba we're basically back at flight idle. Yeah, we are really... Actually, we can speed it up a little bit. This right here, guys, coming up at 1 o'clock. This is the Seven Mile Bridge. The bridge in the Keys here that's seven miles long. Go over towards it a little bit. Key West Tower, Premier 390 Golf Mike. 390 Golf Mike, you're 390 Golf Mike, information x ray. We are 20 to the west, or excuse me, 20 to the east, 20 to the east, and uh, landing Key West, 2,000 feet VFR. 390 Golf Mike, ready to be on the south side? A affirmative, 0 Golf Mike. 0 Golf Mike, report midfield right down when runway 9 around timber to 3012. Okay, 3012, we'll call you midfield right down when runway 9, sir. Go fine. So when we touch down, uh, do, you, do you want to use the throttle to go around, or the reverse? So there is no reverse oh, on this. No That's reverse. a very good question. So, okay, we'll, November, so what three, you will do is just bring them to delta, idle. Alpha, 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 so just back to the stop. Three, 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 All right, alpha, once the alpha, nose wheel alpha, sets alpha, down, alpha. I will deploy the lift dump, and you'll feel the airplane set down. And then at that point, we can start to steadily apply brakes. Okay. And that'll be it. Perfect. No pressure, just the whole world's watching me. I'm my first <laughs> jet landing. <laughs> so right over there is the uh, Navy base, and then yep. right past that is Key West International. And you'll you'll want to do a pretty wide pattern. It's going to be you know quite a bit wider than what you're used to. So 200 knots and below are our gear and flap speeds. Okay. So eventually we'll want to get there. Yeah, All right, we got our airport over here at yep. two o'clock. This looks good. First time landing, there's no sense in, you know, jamming yourself here. It's nice and wide, comfortable, just kind of get used to it. There'll be a lot of little pitch changes as we go through the configuration. All right, we're coming up on a midfield right down here. Key West Tower, Premier 390 Golf Mike, we are a midfield right down on runway 9. Number 0 Golf Mike, Roger, continue on the downwind, turn your uh, base over the west shoreline. Okay, base over the west shoreline, sir, Golf Mike. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start configuring. So gear and flaps to flaps 10 are coming down. Sounds good. Thank you. And you'll find yourself, some because you really can't hear the engines, you'll find yourself somewhere around 60% and one 
is going to be your speed. That's a good speed? Yeah. There's your next notch of flaps. So we got do a right 360. handled down, lights out, three green, and we have one notch of flaps left. Got one right 360 approved. Got one. Speed looks good in here. West shoreline's where he wants us to turn our base here. Key West Tower, Premier Zero Golf Mike, turning at right base, runway 9. Zero Golf Mike, roger number 2, final biplane on close in right base, runway 9 and clear to land, wind 1006. Okay, runway 9, clear to land, 390 Golf Mike, and we're number 2. Well, Coast Guard, Coast Guard cutter going out to sea over here off the right wing. That's pretty cool. And we are cleared to land, runway 9. Thank you. At downtown Key West right there. One thousand. All right, we're lined up on runway niner. Okay, so here. you're one thirty, so you can bring the power back a bit and start shooting for that one fourteen. Looking good on glide path. This looks good. Trend is good. A little bit of power. You'll have it. All right. It's Feel, it feels good. Yeah, yeah. Fun. Yeah, that's nice right there. We're right at 114. On the money. I watched an interview where you said, you know, pilots like to be on the number. <laughs> and as the other thing, though, Greg, I haven't landed an airplane from the right seat in probably oh, I know. It's, seven it's, years. It's, <laughs> it's kind of wild. You're doing a great job. It's looking real good. All right, thank you. Okay, you can actually start bringing the throttles back to idle. All the way back. Keep it coming down. Oh yeah, this is looking great. Looking real nice. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, anyway. now you can add like, little brakes. Wow, this thing lands nice, Greg. Yeah, that was a nice job. And look at this. You're pulling off with <laughs> a thousand remaining. I love it. Very, very nice. Welcome to Key West, guys. That was really well done. Thank you, Greg. Zero Golf Mike, remain in the streak. Sea text around via Alpha Alpha 6. Alpha Alpha 6, Zero Golf Mike. Yeah, I'm going to get everything cleaned up. You can just taxi on in. Right. Revel in a very oh, sweet one, first seven. landing. All right, guys. You deserve it. Thanks, Greg. Welcome to Key West, Marlin Florida. Zero one, Key West Greg, want to thank big thank you for letting us come on board today. Uh, I had a lot of fun. It was uh, an eye-opening experience being able to fly a jet for the first time. If you guys enjoyed the video, the fun's not over though, guys. We're going to go downtown and we'll, uh, we'll go have a little lunch here at Key, in Key West. All right, we'll shut down this. Go have some fun. Jet pilot. <laughs> that was awesome. That was really nice. Very nice job. We just checked in with Signature Flight Support. Now we're going to get a ride downtown. You used to be the big spender. Grabbing the check every dinner. Showing out to your girlfriend, best friends. Just so they could wish they was with you. You ain't want to hit the club with the pressure. Got you out trying to get a table and a picture. Everybody Snapchat pictures. But ain't nobody trying to trap on a liquor. Nah, nah. I've been getting so 
twisted tied on bye bye think we should leave at the iPad but you forgot to save cash for the valet all right so what we're doing now is we're walking around Key West and we're trying to find our friend's restaurant All right, we're here in Lucy's. This is where we're gonna eat today. Looks like a pretty cool bar restaurant. We'll see how it is. All right, what we went with? Wait, guys, we all went with the exact same thing. <laughs> we went with Go the uh, we went with the uh, fish tacos, which look amazing. Well, you know, since Steve, you're now a jet pilot, I guess you want to eat like a jet pilot. Right. I'm trying to take it. Well, uh, I went with the steak. So what does that mean? That, that oh yeah, Baron pilots. Ah. Uh, Baron pro by Baron pilots. <laughs> I didn't know. All right, we just got done eating at Lucy's. Great food. Greg, good uh, recommendation on yeah, that. A little bit of a food coma right now. Yeah, you definitely got to check that place out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video with us, flying up from Miami down to Key West and hanging out around this town here with us. If you like the video, please smash the thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this.